In this presentation, we're going to talk about the GigaPress in Tesla Shanghai. It is a beautiful machine, now part of a beautiful industry and in a beautiful city. This picture shows the GigaPress in the construction mode. The first one actually is, uh, finished, was finished, and the other two were almost finished. And this is the machine section. And here is the storage and the processing section. This is another, another image uh, from Tesla. And actually, they all of them are finished and they're in the production mode. You, you see on the, the other side, they already have products on the racks. This one is my uh, favorite image for GigaPress in Shanghai. Uh, this picture is taken from the opposite direction of the other two, uh, two images. So the storage and the processing section is on this side, on the right side. And you see the roof, they have a natural light. And Tesla is uh, very uh, environmental friendly. Whenever possible, they're going to use uh, natural light to reduce the carbon footprint. This is the interior view of the three Giga presses. And this image is from recent Uwa's video. And that's the exterior view of the building. This white rectangular is where the machines are. See the bars here? That's the window, the lights here. This section is a storage and processing section. And this side is Model Y main facility. And there's a convey line connecting them. This is the, the custody part on the convey line. The casting work probably does not have a 100% yield rate. This is another picture from Uwa's recent video. Uh, this is a different angle of the building. So this is a Model Y casting shop, and this is the Model Y main facility. You zoom in here, you see some parts outside. Most likely, they are defective, uh, defective parts. They will be 100% recycled for the metal. We want to estimate the capacity of 3 gigapress machines. There is a video on YouTube. It's about the Tesla Fremont uh, gigapress flyover in January. According to this footage, the gigapress can generate uh, 100, uh, one unit in 190 seconds. So that is about 455 units, one machine, one day. We assume 20% machine downtime, 90% product yield rate. So that is about 330 units, one machine, one day. So with three machines, we can get to 990 units per day. So one year, uh, assume 360 days, take out a few holidays or plant shutdown. That is about uh, 356,000 units per year. This is a product view. So the left side is the uh, old fashioned 70 pieces made, made of uh, rare, rare body. And this is the one single body. And this is how, it, how they look like uh, in, the, in the car, in the white body. This is how it looked like in the car from an image. And this gentleman is Tesla China President Tom Zhu. He confirmed that the die casting worked really well in Shanghai and greatly improved the efficiency. And this, this video is my China. Welcome to take a look. A lot of people ask, will Model 3 using die casting? And Shanghai now using casting for the Model Y rear body. Will, the, will they use the, the same thing for the front body? Actually, Elon answered the, the, those questions. Uh, not anytime soon in Freeman or Shanghai. Uh, existing production is critical source for cash flow. This is a direct quote from Elon. It's hard to change wheels on a bus when it's going at 80 miles per hour. So Tesla, Berlin, the new gigafactories will have gigapresses for both front and back body from day one. I highly recommend the video 
uh, Elon interview with uh, Sandy. I put that link here. Take a look, it's awesome. This image is the best one I can get from internet, uh, actually from Twitter, uh, about Shanghai Gigafactory layout. It's not high resolution, but you still can get a feeling about the layout. This long structure is Model 3 or Phase 1 main facility. This structure is Model Y or Phase 2 main facility. And Model Y stamping shop actually is attached to Model 3 main facility. We have a, a video about this one in my channel. You can talk, you can take a look. And this structure is today's topic, Model Y die casting shop. And they have a connection linked to the Model Y main facility. So now you know the overall layout of the Shanghai campus. The summary of this uh, talk, GigaPress offer a number of important advantages. One is the lower cost. According to the battery day number you will see in the following video, the they reduce the cost by 40% for this part. It's also speed up the process. We saw that uh, there's only take about three minutes or 190 seconds to make one part. But uh, Elon uh, mentioned in his conversation with uh, Sandy said uh, in the body in white shop, the robot reduced from 1000 to 700 due to adoption of GigaPress. So think about 300 robots working on 70 parts, how long it will take. It's much more than three minutes. Apparently, this GigaPress, the, the casting part, strengthen the body, also reduce the weight, and good for the range. This also improved the production consistency, so it's always only one part. There's not much moving uh, uncertainty here. So we also know that the integrated, uh, it's fully integrated in the Shanghai GigaFactory Phase 2, and also working very well according to the uh, Tesla China president. The three gigapress machines annual capacity we estimate at about 356,000 units. So this is a much beyond the Tesla declared more, uh, made in China Model Y capacity. That number was 200,000 uh, according to the 4Q release. So we see the difference in the number. So possible future made in China. Architecture that um, we've been wanting to do with Tesla for a long time, uh, and we're finally we finally figured it out. Um, and I think it's it's the way that all electric cars in the future will ultimately be made. Uh, it's the right way to, right way to do things. Um, so it's, it starts with uh, having a single piece casting or a single piece casting for the front body and the rear body. Um, and uh, in order to do this, we uh, commissioned the, the largest casting machine that has ever been made. And it's currently working just uh, over the road at our uh, Fremont plant. Uh, we have the, 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 it's pretty sweet. Um, ma making the uh, entire, currently making the entire uh, rear section of the car in a, as a single piece 
high pressure die cast aluminum. Um, and in order to do this, we actually uh, had to develop our own alloy uh, because we wanted a high strength casting alloy that not, did not require coatings or heat treatment. Uh, this is a big deal for, for castings, especially with a, la a large casting. If you heat treat it afterwards, it, it tends to deform. It kind of like does this like potato chip thing. So it's very hard to keep a large casting uh, to have its shape. Um, so in order to achieve this, th there was no alloy that existed that could do this. So we developed our own alloy, a special alloy of aluminum that has high strength without heat treat and, and is very castable. Uh, so that's a you know a great achievement of our materials team. Um, in fact, in general, we've got a lot of advanced materials coming for, for Tesla that new alloys and, and materials that have never existed before. So, uh, so you're basically making this, the, the, the front and rear of the car as a single piece. Um, and then that, that, that then inter, the interfaces to uh, what we call the, the structural battery, where the battery for the first time will have dual use. Uh, the battery will both have the use as an energy device and as structure.